Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Ruth chapter four, verse 16, as well as Ruth chapter four, verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for truth. Thank you for hope in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So we have two Ruth scriptures, which is kind of rare. But um, these are the two that the Lord gave me. Um, Ruth chapter four, verse 16. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her lap and became his nurse. All right. And so the thing that the Holy Spirit, I felt like he was showing me in the scripture is that we need to be ready to do things in service that we feel might be beneath us. Right. We need to be willing to help the next generation. We need to even like if you see issues where uh, maybe say a young woman who has young children. Right. And you feel like, oh, I was there. I understand that. Well, maybe God is is taking you there maybe in your service somehow helping women like that somehow helping people who are in positions that you used to be in right maybe a young father um somebody starting a business maybe someone who just looks like you um possibly a few years back, right? When you were struggling, when you were going through that same thing, right? When you were trying to learn how to fix your car um, and and you see someone else who's in that same position, um, it, God might be putting them in your path in this season for service. So don't allow any position to be beneath you, right? Even if it's serving food, if it's taking out the trash, whatever it is, do it as unto the Lord. Amen. Do it as unto the Lord because God is blessing that in this season. And he is wanting us to help younger believers to mature in the faith as well. So giving them their needs, um, helping them with their needs and helping them in their relationship with Christ. And it helps you to grow even the more in your relationship with Christ. Amen. All right. And so the second scripture that he gave me was Ruth chapter four, verse 12. And may your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah because of the offspring that the Lord will give you by this young woman. So here their house is being blessed by someone, right? Someone is speaking a verbal blessing onto um, Ruth and Boaz's house, right? And so that is where I feel like the Holy Spirit is saying in the same way that service should be done to a person who God is putting in your path. Um, it's possible also that he wants you to speak blessings over them, to coach them, mentor them in the things of God, right? Be willing to give whatever word God puts in your heart at the time as you encounter them. I mean, don't overwhelm them with your presence, right? But go when the Holy Spirit says go, do when the Holy Spirit says do, amen. He is blessing that right now. And I, I feel that he, is wanting us to reach out and help others and maybe not in such the common way such as just um you know giving money to the poor but also um going out of your way to help other people who are in need who might have even been in your position um the same position that you used to be in amen all right let's pray thank you father god for this word thank you for opening up new doors and making new ways for us you're always thinking about our ladder. You're always blessing us and helping us to do better in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as your savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing that. Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Be my Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you into the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path in everything that you do. 
So um, one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word, ask him questions and begin to have a dialogue with him. Talk back. He's going to start talking back with you um, and you'll begin to trust and know what his voice sounds like. Um, the Lord is going to lead you to a church home if you don't already have one, um, as well as uh, other believers to be around so that you could stay sharp in the word of God. He's going to show you where you can go and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, as well as um, he's going to show you how to make disciples of all men, telling other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children, his peace. Take care.